Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome to the second part of Pam and Paul's house. We are continuing on with more of the exterior, concentrating mainly on Pam's side of the semi-detached cottages today. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful ideas as well. I've had so many wonderful ideas from you guys. I agree. They definitely need some pets. I'm thinking Paul needs a little Scotty dog that he takes out with him on the fishing boat trips. Um, and the Scotty dog is going to be called Keith. Um, <laughs> because I just think that's a funny name for an animal, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to give him a Scotty dog called Keith. And I think Pam needs like a little Yorkshire Terrier, a really old Yorkshire Terrier. Um, and I don't know what to call her. So maybe you can come in with that. We need a really funny human sounding name for a Yorkshire Terrier. She's going to be a lady. She's going to be a lady Yorkshire Terrier. Um, and then I'll make sure to make them for tomorrow's part. Yes, I will indeed. Now, I've also had a thought. Well, it's not so much of a thought. It's just something that I'm going to have to do. I'm still not ready with the Willow Creek save file and I don't want to rush it this week. So I'm going to bring the Willow Creek save file out next week, hopefully on Monday. Um, but it might be like kind of midweek. I'm making a big like video over like about it and stuff. And I'm having real like a lot of fun with the edit process. So you're going to have to hold out a little bit longer. Now, I also need to say um, a few of the builds that I did for willow creek i haven't put up on the gallery yet and that is a reason behind that the creek cabana um the aster bamford household as well i haven't put that house up on the gallery main reasons being there's a few things i needed to change and a few things i need to keep secret until the save file is out so that is what has been going on with those builds if you have been wondering where they are and why they are not up on the gallery that is why they will be up as soon as the save file is out my darlings don't you worry about that now Enough babbling on. Let's slob on over and start building. Here we are, darlings. Back in game with a very large pigeon in the mid-flight. I don't know how I managed to catch that, but bloody hell. Paul is absolutely, absolutely made up about the fact that there is a big fat pigeon. Floating, <laughs> big fat polygon pigeon that is floating around here. How are you doing, sweetheart? Are you okay? His face. Oh, I feel very sorry for you. It's like PS1 Hagrid. <laughs> the graphics the graphics beautiful the textures on that realistic were you made in the unreal engine because you certainly look at my darlings anyway here we are we are back a few little things i've changed from last time um i've also i've gave i've gave him a boat gave him a little boat but i've also moved a bigger boat this is paul's fishing boat because that was it's just too far out darlings i mean he could use this to get out to his boat which is sometimes what happens well a lot of times what happens um with boats and whatnot but i decided to just park it up here and then he's got that little boat out just in case he does more off a little bit further out um that is what's going to be happening so yeah we'll give him his dog keith tomorrow little scotty dog and we're going to give pam hers as well we'll give pam a little yorkshire terrier but i need your help with some names for that for a little girl one now a few things have changed so i figured out floor pan figured out floor pan i'll talk you through it right now my sweet so you come in here here is a little um entrance hall toilet main bathroom only bathroom in the house that happens as well that happens and usually they're downstairs as well weirdly and like not usually but often they're downstairs because they would have sometimes had like an outdoor privy would, would have been like an outdoor toilet that was what happened back in those days many a year ago um main living room kitchen and dining room over there or i might even do like a smaller little living room here and put a dining table there i don't know yet but i'm thinking uh kit like a dining room table in there would work out better i've also changed the flooring as well that red brick was just not doing it for me it just didn't look like cornish british it just didn't it just i don't know got rid gone see you later um and then two bedrooms up here so one bedroom here and another bedroom here as well which is obviously going to be pam's master suite uh and this would have been i reckon this would have been her daughter's bedroom when she was a kid that is the storyline and we're sticking to it. We will be doing Pam's daughter soon as well. Pam's daughter is going to be a lesbian. She's 
been married for many years. She does own the fish and chip shop as well, around the town somewhere. Someone also noticed this as well in my Twitter post. And I need to look for... Oh, God, yeah, look at that. Look at that. What's going on there? You need to sort that out. That's all I'm saying, sweetheart. Um, but yeah, that is all I've done. That's all I've done from last time. Uh, changed a few things up. Got rid of the picnic bench here. I'm going to put a table out here and I'm going to put a picnic bench. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to change that around again. I'm going to put this out in the back and I'm just going to put the picnic bench back, to be honest with you. So today we'll carry on with more exterior work. We'll work on the garden as well. And we'll, maybe we'll have time to move into the interiors. I hope we do um because i'm ready willing and able to get it all done i am so yeah we're going to be continuing this all week long as well love so tomorrow and friday we're going to be back with these two and building their lovely little little cottage so without further ado let's get into build mode shall we okay into the back garden can we get us any better lighting back here not really that one there will do now i've had a thought what about if i did like a little outdoor privy in this bit here a little outdoor toilet I think that could look really cute because I could put like a little roof line on that as well. Um, why are you? Can you please build a ceiling? Thank you. Um, I think I might do that, you know. I think I'm going to do it. And then I can put like a little roof line on top of it and just have a toilet in there. Just a single toilet. Into it. Into it. We're doing it. We are absolutely doing it. So let's get a little roof line on here as well. Probably going to go ahead and use this one, to be honest. Why are you not allowing me? Oh, it's because you're outside the lot. Silly, silly bar maiden. Get your shit together, for goodness sake. Um, but I'm so excited that you guys are so excited about this. It's so nice to be back building British styles again. It really, really is. Now, I've had a massive thought as well. While I'm building this privy, we're going to chat about it, darlings. Um, I'm going to connect um, Brychester, Henford on Bagley, um, Windenburg and Brindleton Bay all into one save file. I will be releasing them separately as well, but I want those worlds to be primarily British based um, on different areas. I'm thinking about doing um, Windenburg a bit more of a Devon save file. So I'm going to do like lots of kind of like Devon cottages and whatnot. Um, and also Henford on Bagley as well. They're going to be very quintessentially what I know, Devon. That is what is going to be happening there. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just going to connect them together, have them in one big save file. So we're going to do like multiple families that kind of connect into another world and whatnot. That is what's going to be happening. I mean, that is many, many months off, but that is the, that is the vibe loves that we're going to go for. Yeah, I do like that. I'm unsure about the color of this though. I think it might need to be a dark brown rather. Yeah, that's better. We'll do a dark brown there and we'll do the same on um, Paul's side as well. Look at these fucking birds everywhere. Honestly, it's like a scene from the Hitchcock movie. They're out everywhere. They're out to get us. Yeah, I do like that. I don't, I'm unsure about that little hangover, though. I think we should do it like that, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just do like a little mini roof line there. Oh, I'm for it. I'm absolutely for that. That's very cute. Very cute. And we'll put a little toilet inside there as well. We'll just put one single little toilet in here. Would have been... Can you imagine nowadays having to like go outside to go to the toilet? I mean, some people around the world still might have to do that, you know? But me personally... I couldn't think of anything worse than going out in British weather, freezing fucking cold, and having to take a little dump in the toilet. I couldn't be dealing with that, loves. I couldn't be fucking dealing with that. Having a laugh. <laughs> couldn't be dealing with that, my sweets. <laughs> in the rain? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's me being um, privileged <laughs> for you. That's me being privileged for you. Um, lighting. I think I'll just do like a small... One of those, um, not you, the lamp, Satan. Oh, no. I just want a single light bulb in here. Bulb? Bulb. A single light bulb in there. Not that bright, though. Let's dim that light right down to about there. There. That's better. Oh, yes. Oh, what a beautiful outdoor privy we've got going on there. I'm really for it. I hate the way that this cuts into the door. But we can't help that. We cannot help it at all. So what we're going to do, should we finish off the, we'll finish off the front first before we go on to the back. So we need to get that picnic table back. We need to bring the picnic table back into action in here. And we used that, was it the one from the Star Wars pack? Was there a picnic table? It was. There was a picnic table with the Star Wars pack. You know, makes sense. It makes utter sense to have a picnic table 
in a Star Wars pack. The pack that shall not be named. Thank you. <laughs> because we all know our feelings on that, don't we, darlings? We do indeed. Yes, we do. Um, oh, I didn't I forgot to change those there. How very dare you. Let's do the older ones. Um, I was playing around with colours, but I decided to go with just grey. Oh, we've got the same going on there as well. And I've used a few like kind of like rougher textures. Um are uh, like mixed in with like the these ones. I don't know why that took so long to get out, but it did. Okay, so I also need to train paint underneath of here. So we'll finish off doing that here. Um, I'm thinking, I wish this, can, can we get groceries delivered in any world? Or is that just a Henford on Bagley thing? That is what I would like to know because it would be cute to have like milk bottles out here. Maybe where the milkman came. Kind of feeling that idea. I might do that anyway. Um, let me find them. Found them. Little empty little milk um, glass bottles. I mean, I'm that old that I do remember this. I remember milk being delivered. Um, and I remember my mum always being fuming because the birds would have got to it. The but they used to like just tap in through the foil at the top and drink the milk. <laughs> and my mum used to be fuming about it. I still I still remember that. And I still remember the sound of the milk float coming. You are unsure what a milk float is. It's like an electric vehicle that um yeah, people used to go around and deliver milk in. So I like that little vibe out there. We'll do that. There's our empty milk. I reckon she is on the coffee from day from like six in the morning. I reckon she is. I reckon she is. Now, I had someone say that they don't imagine her garden to be um, well looked after. I, I do. It's, yeah, it's something that I think that would happen. And I definitely see um, Paul's garden be a little bit more overgrown and stuff. He's out fishing all day. Like the fishermen's, uh, fishermen's? Fishermen are out fishing like all day and they haven't got time to bloody garden. So yes, that is what is happening. Yes, it hasn't died. I keep going back and changing that because I just keep getting conflicting. Yeah, that's better. We'll do that. We'll do that. So this is just a place for us to sit with friends, really, and just have a little moment. So there's not much I really want to do here, to be honest with you. I think maybe we should do another small hedge going across. Another little small hedge going across there. A nice little welcome mat and something. Um, yeah, I think so. Do we want to use the Hedge of Dreams on that part? Mm, it's small, isn't it? It's very small. Let me have a little whiffle through and see what I can come up with. I've had an idea. There's nothing too drastic. What I'm going to do. A little welcome mat, obviously. I've moved the mailbox as well, just so it's a bit easier maybe for them to be able to get to. I'm going to move that boat in a little bit more there. So I did put an entrance here as well, so they could, you could carry the boat out or something or drag it down to... The dock area. Um, I don't know. I don't know how they work. Um, I'm going to make this look a little bit more wild, I think, using this grass here um, from Get Together. From Get Together, this grass is from. Um, I'm going to just wild this up. And I've used this stone wall as well around it. I just think it kind of like, it works. It just works, you know? And that is what I'm going to go for. Absolutely. Just flop it around in these places here. Making sure it's not cutting in too much to the wall. I don't mind if little bits are kind of sticking out from it. It's fine. Um, that tree does disappear a lot, um, which is good for gameplay, but not when I'm trying to build and see where everything is kind of looking. Um, that was my toe that just clicked then, if you were wondering <laughs> what that noise was. <laughs> the return of the clicky toe. The return of the clicky toe. Right. Let's get a little bit of this going on down here as well. Get rid of that brick there. And we'll go in a little bit further there as well with it. Um, and I also just climbed a little bit of ivy up just on the wall just so it looks... We'll do a bit more actually. I had to size it down quite a bit. Just so it looks a little bit more overgrown. This um, wonderful little wall that's probably been here for hundreds of years. Um, I always think that with my back garden. Like my house is old, 150 years old. And but the wall and around my garden looks so much older. It's like solid granite wall and it's been painted white and all the white is kind of like peeling off of it. I love the aesthetic of it. Um, but I also I, it just looks like it's been there for longer. And I'm always like, would it would it have been a different wall? Would you have been a different wall at some kind at some time in your life? And those are the questions that, you know, just keep me going. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Aiden. Oh, dear. Right, where's the one where I can change it? Because they are all debug, for goodness sake. Um, where are you? There you are. 
Um, shall I use that color there? Uh, not really keen on that. What was that lighter one I just used? Yes, that's better. What if I use these rather than the harsh kind of white? I've also, like, you wouldn't be able to see this subtly. I've subtly changed the color of Paul's windows as well. Made them a little bit less white. Because we're going to make this house look a little bit rougher with vines and stuff. And maybe a few cracks and stuff in the wall. Um, so I reckon it has maybe have been freshly painted. Freshly painted indeed. I do like that. That looks nice. I'm still thinking we need to put something down here. Where is that like little wooden bucket? Maybe we could flop that in down here. Um, let me see what we've got going on here. Little wooden bucket, if you will. Where are you? I'm probably going to struggle trying to find this. Um, let's see if I can do it without cutting off. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'll be back. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put a street sign on one of these houses. It probably... I mean, it would look better on Paul's. Because it would look better on the edge here. This happens quite a lot as well. You like see a little street sign on people's houses. So maybe we'll do that anyway. We're just going to flop it up onto Paul's house here. Um, Let's put you there. Oh, yes. I'm into that. I am. I'm right into that. Oh, you would work well. Yeah, let's do that. That's cute. That's a cute little object. Cute little object. Let me just see what other tones we can use for this. Why is there no swatches? Where are they gone? Is that is this debug or something? Oh, it's debug. Oh, okay. I'm sure there is an object like this in the game there. Yeah, that one's better. We'll use that one. We'll use that one and we'll flop it there as well. We'll flop it there. Lovely jubbly. Oh, for it. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. <gasps> into it. Absolutely into it. I think we've got all we need here, to be honest with you. I might put a little lantern out on the, um, on the picnic table. Um, no, cottage living. Let's get rid of you. Where's that like? Uh, yeah, this one here. We'll do, oh, Christ. We'll just do it in a green as well. Little lantern out here. So in case they want to sit out. I imagine she sits out here and has a nose around the streets in the town anyway. Ignore all of this. This doesn't look very Cornish, really, to be honest. I mean, there's a church somewhere that does look semi kind of Cornish, I saw. Where are you? Oh, up there. Look, there we go. A nice little church. Beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a church build for this one yet, but never say never. We've got lots of lots to do, so maybe I will. I don't know. Anyway, I think we're done. I think we're done with the front area of Pam's house. I think that works really nicely. It looks really cute. I'm kind of into it. Yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to move on and we're going to do the back garden. I think I need to pull out a few stuff or a few bits that I think would match well with this. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. Okay, pulled out a few little bits that I think just matches well in with this. Clothes line for sure. We're going to put a washing line in there. Um, we'll do the same in Paul's back garden as well. Um, we're going to put a drain underneath of this. I've put some more um, drain pipes all the way up the house, like one in the middle, and then it maybe runs down around the guttering around here and then goes on to each side. Um, I'm here for that. Now, a few little things to plant. I think she would love to grow maybe not like fruit and veg per se, but maybe like a few little flowers or something here and there. I think that would uh, I think that would match in with her um, personality quite nicely. So I'm going to do a few little planters underneath of there, I think, unless I do the planters along here, because then I can put a window box below there. I think that would be better, actually. Uh, hopefully they will be able to squeeze in. Oh, I might have to move this. I could probably put this in the middle of the floor, actually. The middle of the courtyard, even. Yeah, I can do that. I'll put that there. I do need a gate here as well. I do want her to be able to have access out of said gate. Um, what about you? Oh, that's quite cute. I do like that one. No, I think that one there is probably going to be the best one, to be honest. Um, let me see where I can put you. I hate that you... Oh, you can't... Oh. How did I change that? I've never been able to do that. Oh, go back again. What? What? Why do? Why do you do that with the wall? I mean, I don't mind that. That's fine. That's fine. But I want the gate to open that way, please. Thank you. And I'm gonna flop another one. How many tiles was that actually? Um, let's get down to that level. Oh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! Five, five. There we go. Come back to us. Oh, she's gonna want to go that way. So we're just gonna have to put it that way. That's fine. And a little gate entrance out so they can get up to the docks easily. Um, 
I reckon Pam cl clambers through here when she's got her keys. When she's forgot her keys from the pub. And she's got a key under the doormat here. Is there any key? Is there any separate keys? That would be a good thing to put here. No. There's a key card. That doesn't look... I mean, we've got that, but that's in frames. Oh. That would have been cute to put a little key under the doormat. I would have been there for that. I really would have. But, you know, Sims. Sims, what more can we do? What more can we do indeed? Yeah, we'll flop that to there. I think I want more wisteria back here as well. So I think I'm going to do that little plant a moment in this corner. And climb some more wisteria up the back area of here as well. I think that would be quite cute. We'll pick some tables and chairs in a minute. Now, I didn't really want a white table, but we're going to do it anyway. It will kind of match in with the windows, to be honest. We'll get some wisteria in a minute. We'll get some wisteria in a minute. Hmm, I'm just thinking maybe I could put the planters here underneath this window. Yeah, we'll do that instead. We'll do that instead. And then that gives us a bit more room here to have a table or maybe a little barbecue or something as well. Let me pick the chairs. We're just going to pick the chairs now. Um, I think we'll struggle with these because I just don't like the chairs, to be honest. I just don't like them. Um... I mean, that's quite cute, actually, with that. I didn't think I was going to like that. And it turns out I absolutely do. I absolutely do. What one did I pick? It was that one, wasn't it? I mean, it doesn't really go. But I'm not trying to be matchy-matchy with this either. It's going to be a little bit eclectic, this house, I would imagine. Both of them, to be honest. I reckon Paul's is going to be a lot more cluttered than Pam's. Pam's is still going to be a little bit cluttered. But not to the point of what Paul's is. I think Paul's is going to be a bit majorly cluttered. Yeah, we'll use those chairs with it. I'm happy with that. I am absolutely happy. Okay. Now, I did say I wanted a window box here. So let's pick one of those. Let's pick a window box. I'm going to get rid of debug and live edit now. Um, Maybe I could use this one. Size it down. Not in that color, though. I could go for maybe a bit more of a darker tone. No. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, maybe a bit of green back here. Let me see this. Yeah, yeah, I think so. We do need a little... Oh, I could put a window there, couldn't I? I could put a window there. Like a small... Um, Not not the circle one, but there's a skinny, skinny legend, isn't there? This one here. Can I put a little skinny legend next to this door? I mean, yeah. I think we could, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at, oh no, because Wisteria's going up there. <laughs> Shit! What about on this side? Yeah, that's going to look weird. I mean, I could move the door along a little bit more. And then tuck that into there. Let me see that. No, I don't know. I mean, it would have looked cute. We haven't got like a little square version. Oh, we do! We fucking do! Oh, let's do that. Yeah, the little one looks better. Just next to the door there. Oh, I'm for that. Very much for that indeed. Yes, I am. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little light up to the side of it. I'm going to move you in a little bit tighter. Oh, God, let's get that grid off. Go back down on the floor. Get down. Get, get down. Thank you. Right, we're going to flop that into the wall like that. Check it's not coming through. It's not. Um, And then we're going to get a light above here as well. As well. As well. Or oh, maybe a security light. Yeah, let's put a little security light back here. Little security light by the garden. Motion detecting just in case anybody comes in, tries to play with Pam's pasty. We do not want that happening. <laughs> well, we don't know. It depends on who it is, really, doesn't it, darling? One of one of Pam's admirers. One of Pam's admirers. Now, I think her, her main admirer is the lovely Paul. It is. He absolutely worships the ground she walks on. Um, that is a little bit overgrown in that security light there, which is making me a little bit fuming. Maybe I could move the security light somewhere else. I mean, I could put it there, couldn't I? Yeah, we'll put it there. We'll put it there because I do want more of this wisteria. Uh, I didn't really want to have to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to put this pot over that drain there and do another little moment like that. Yes. And I am going to clamber it around the um, 
the this edge here as well, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to flop you to about there, darling. And then maybe just do a little bit more going up that area there. Just a smidgen. Oh, I would give anything for wisteria on my house. I would. I think it takes years to grow as well. Any of you um, planty people out there? How long does, does wisteria take long to grow? I bet it does. I should look into it because I would love some. I would. I would love some. Um, more wisteria, please. Thank you. Am I using the same one here? Yeah, that's the same one. Let's get some different vibes going across. Maybe a little bit of this going on. Let me fill up that gap in the middle there as well. Let me see that. Yeah, but the, it looks too straight at the bottom there. And we're, we're not straight here. <laughs> we're not straight here, sorry. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think so. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It will do. It will do. And that's all that matters. Let's flop more of these going on as well now. So, oh, why are you? Oh, why is that? Why is that flap out and that one's not? Maybe it just didn't fancy being out, you know? But we're going to do that anyway. Um, Yeah, I did do that through there. I was like, did I put that there? How far on the edge are you? That's perfect. Same there. And then one in the middle. Stunning. And another one in the middle on that side. Beautiful. Shame about the lighting back here. Shame about the lighting indeed. Um, This is looking cute. I think this is looking nice. Like Pam's back garden. It is. And we did say we were going to do a barbecue, didn't we? So maybe what I'll do is just whiffle that across there a little bit more. And then I'm going to flop a barbecue on this part here. Um... It would just be a generic, yeah, something like this. Maybe I'll go for a, let me see the colours we've got going on here. Not yellow. We'll go for blue. We'll go for that, yeah, we'll go for that blue. Stunning. Yeah, just a little moment like that. Um, I think we need a garden hose. Hose, come on through. Um, Where are you? There you are. I'm going to flop you here. Beautiful. I'm not going to plant anything. In fact, I'm going to put flowers in there or just plain Main reasons being, it's going to be autumn in the game, so not much is going to be growing, to be honest with you. So I'll flop some flowers, and maybe they'll look dead when the autumn is here, which is how my garden is looking right now, to be honest with you. I need to um, put some, like, evergreen stuff in my garden, I think, just so it starts, so it looks a little bit nice when it's not summer or spring, you know? So I definitely need to do that next year at some point. Uh, and then another one, please, if you would. Not a sunflower. Just a normal bush. There we go. Beautiful. Whiffle you up, my love. Stunning. Oh, I'm for it. Really am. Really am. Would have been nice to have like a little potting thing out here, to be honest with you. Um. Oh, I really want that now. I've just thought about it. I don't like the big high one. Maybe the one from Cottage Living. We've got that garden moment, haven't we? Where is it? Um. Come on. Come on through. Is it surfaces? I think it might be in surfaces. All surfaces. Yeah, this one here. Oh, that would look cute in the garden. It would. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, I reckon Pam's got a bit of a green thumb, to be honest with you. I'm going to say it now. I reckon she's got a little bit of a green thumb. Oh, I don't like it there. I think it would look better around here somewhere. Um, It might cover up the window slightly, though. But I can live with that. Right, I'm going to trial it over here. Come here. Oh, that's fine. I thought it was going to look really covered, that window, but because of this. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yes. Okay, so she's only got two planters now, but she has got that vertical planter as well. She fancies growing some herbs and spices, and, you know? Yeah, I'm for it. Absolutely for that, but that does need to be pushed quite far in. So let's do you to around there. Thank you. Oh, cute. Yeah, I'm getting vibes. Getting vibes from this. I really am. I'm happy. I'm happy with how it looks. I'm very happy with how it looks. I think we're going to do that. Well, we are because I've done it, you know? We are. Um, um, What I need to do is change that to that for a start. What we got going on here? I think we're going to make a start. I think we'll make a start on the kitchen. We'll make a start on the kitchen. I don't think we're going to get it done today. But we've, we've made a start, haven't we? So I think this needs to be a lovely country kitchen. So 
Um, do I want to use the cottage living one or that other one? I think this might be a vibe in here, to be honest with you. Um, oh, let me have a sit. Let me see the other. That could be a vibe as well. This one looks a little bit more dilapidated as well, doesn't it? No, I'm feeling the other one a bit more. What color? I don't know. Maybe just like a plain brun one. I would have loved if they did. Oh, yellow would be cute. Oh, yellow looks nice. Um. Oh, I like the green. I always go to this color, but I really like this one. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. So layout wise, I probably want it to be down in like an L shape there. So we've got a room for a small dining room table here. Maybe we just like three chairs. But then I do want to do a washing machine in this room as well. And oh, it's good. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. We're going to go to there. Right. Lovely. Oven. Sink. Let's try that. A little. Um, can you hear? Blue's dreaming. I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but he's having a right dream. Bless him. Bless him. Unless I put the oven on this side, to be honest. And I can do a washer and dryer there. Maybe not a dryer. Maybe just a washing machine. I'm going to do a washing machine. Blue's dreaming in the background. It's adorable. The noises he's making. <gasps> oh, it's enough to make your heart sing. It really is. Bless his socks. He really is. one of the best. He's the best creature on the planet. And I know you're all going to say that about all your dogs and whatnot. But he is. I'm proud to be his dad. <laughs> I literally am. Very proud to be his dad. Um, sink. They did come with their own sink as well, didn't it? Uh, this one here. Is that the green? That's the green. We're going to pop you there, right next to the washing machine. We're definitely going to have to do one more counter space. Just so they've got enough to cook on. Yes, this one here is going to be free. But I also want a semi-clutter one as well. So, um, let's do the middle here. Don't you wish they would do, like, built-in appliances, like washing machine? You know, like they did with the um oven i wish they did a built-in appliance um a washing machine a built-in washing machine but they haven't and i'm fuming fuming about it just some new washing machines in general to be honest with you because these are just big and chunky i want to see some new looking ones yes we can get custom content ones but you know i want some more i want some more i'm gonna swap these out i'm gonna swap i'm gonna put the oven there instead yeah that's better that's better. That's a bit more free space up there now, isn't it? Oh, I'm for it. Right, let's continue on with the um the cupboards. The cupboards in question. Oh, I forget. I forget that this is just the main cupboard, isn't it? I hate that. I do hate that. What are you again? You're open, which is even more annoying. Main reason being I can't put multiple of these down. Because it repeats. And I hate that. I hate seeing repeated objects in here. I can't be dealing with that. No. Um. So maybe we'll just do it on one wall then. Yes, we need a fridge. I'm thinking about putting the fridge here. Um. I just know there's someone out there like that. You're not leaving room for a fridge. <laughs> it's the same with the Malfoy, Malfoy Manor as well. In my head, I was like, make sure to tell them that we're doing... Uh, oh, I would love that to go on the edge there. Make sure to tell them that we are doing a um, kind of like pantry. And I never mentioned it once. And then I was like, oh no, damn, people are going to say like, you haven't put a fridge in. And I did. So I made sure to comment. <laughs> Make sure that you, that, 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 that you guys knew I was going to be flopping a pantry in instead. Can we put that there? Oh, that looks fine. I think I'll do, I won't do a corner moment there because I think it would cover this here. Yes, maybe we'll do some shelves up there. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, nice little coastal cottage um, view out when you're washing the dishes as well, loves. Oh, I mean, you've got several bars and walls and things to look through. But, oh, hello. Look at him peeping in. Dirty bastard. I can see you looking in. Dirty bastard indeed. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a vibe. I'm into that. What about... Hear me out. What about if I did like a little, a bigger, a bigger moment over here like this and then put the fridge next to it 
I mean, that needs to go up one more, but let me see this. Yes, but I think it needs to go on this side. Will it be squished in? I know we can get a table there with three chairs quite easily. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, and then a fridge here. Maybe, um, do I want to go for like a wooden-y looking? Oh, I kind of do. I think it would fit the vibe in here. Not necessarily going to use the same color, though. I think we'll choose a different colorway for this one. Um, maybe, oh, a pink. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? I do like that pink with that green. That does look nice. I think we're going to do that, you know. Yep, yeah, she's going to have a pink fridge. She's going to have a pink fridge. Absolutely for that. I'm not enjoying that there now, though. I'm not. I'm not enjoying that. Maybe I could put that somewhere else. Like maybe I could put that there instead of that cupboard. Or, oh, no, it covers the window there. That window is being a pain in the ass, isn't it, to be honest? But it looks cute. It looks cute and it, I don't know, just fits in. This would take up space and this would take up a, a working. Yeah, no, that's not the vibe. I do like that, though. Maybe we should get rid of that window and have this in the corner here instead. I don't know. Ah, oh, I do like that because it kind of boxes in the window as well then. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Even though that is not at the right height and that is default height as well. You are slightly lower. What the fuck is going on with you? Just get your shit together, Carol. For goodness sake. That's going to have to do. That is going to have to do. Oh, shit. I got rid of that one now as well. Shame about that window. I really liked that cheeky little window. But I prefer that being a kitchen vibe, you know. Being a kitchen vibe in this room. Because it is a kitchen. And that is the moment that we're all going for today. Blessed to be. Thank you very much for listening. Um, bin. Bin. I'm going to use my favourite bin. This one here. Because it does come in different colours now. Which is a, a revelation in itself, loves. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll hang the... We'll put the bin there. I do want to do some pots and pans. And I'm thinking maybe putting the pots and pans above here. Not sanitary. In the slightest. Can we... Is there pans and cutters? Can I just do pans? No. You're going to be there. Let me find this because I hate finding this object. Well, I actually found that quite fast, to be honest with you. Here he is, right above the bin. Sanitary uses, you know. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. Yeah, I'm glad we went with the pink fridge. I think that looks really cute. Uh, do I want to put the fridge there? No, because I kind of like the separate moment it's got over here. I do like that. And I did like a counter space there, but I'm unsure. I'm unsure. No, this is looking nice. This is looking nice, but I think this is where we're going to leave it today. We're going to leave it today. So we've got a little bit more done, didn't we? Yes, we did. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Be back tomorrow with this. We'll continue on with the kitchen. We'll move on into the living area and just finish off the downstairs, to be honest with you, I think. Um, and then we've only got the upstairs to do for this one. But I think this is coming along really nicely. And I think they're going to be very happy living here. Um, and, oh God, <laughs> Look at Pam. We'll leave on that. Um, don't forget to bring some more storylines. What do you want to see happening between Pam and Paul? Don't forget as well, tomorrow I'm also going to be making their dogs. So they'll have dogs. Make sure I need to put dog bowls and stuff down in their houses. Maybe their dogs can have a little relationship together. Maybe they, maybe they could have puppies. I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm for that storyline. So maybe we can... Um, make that happen for tomorrow. In fact, we're going to leave it on the um, PS1 graphic pigeon instead. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight, my darlings. We are going to be finishing off a really cool little cute game called Unpacking. And also, we're going to be making some Sims in The Sims 4. So if you do want to join me, come along 7pm GMT. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.